We covered the DOXA Sub 300 Professional at some length in our latest watch buyer's guide, where we reviewed excellent watches under or around $2,000. As our best dive watch pick in that guide, we've since wanted to dive even deeper into the iconic diver's history to talk at length about why we're enamored with a colorful reference with mid-century roots. Simply put, DOXA has a rich Swiss watchmaking heritage, but their reputation really became cemented nearly half a century after their origin in the decades following World War II. The war brought devastation, but innovation flourished alongside the carnage, as global superpowers sought to equip their forces with the most cutting-edge gear in hopes of swinging the tide of the war. In the time between 1942 and 1943, French naval officer Jacques Cousteau and air engineer Emile Gagnon pioneered the first diving system complete with a demand regulator, a device that compensates for pressure when a diver inhales and then provides a brief flow of air for a steady supply of oxygen-rich breath. Patenting the autonomous tech under the name Aqualung, their invention would quickly spur on a diving craze, the sport exploding in popularity in the late 1950s when this underwater tech largely became available to the public. Watchmaking was no stranger to utilitarian first timepieces before the war, but like other watchmakers, Doxa was positioned differently, making strides with dress watches before pivoting around the time the Second World War broke out. Cue the Doxa sub in 1967. With the direct aid of Cousteau and his contemporaries, Doxa quickly developed a reputation for crafting one of the world's most capable divers that could meet the unique demands of underwater exploration. Since then, Doxa has doubled down in the diving arena, but has kept the sub line at the forefront, the Bright Dial 300 series leading the pack. Upon first glance, the Doxa Sub 300 Professional is visibly unique, which is to say you really have to love the look of the watch to fully engage with it. The barrel-shaped case, chunky timing bezel, and small but super luminous bright orange dial will certainly not appeal to everyone, but it really never originally tried to as a utility-first unit created for divers. However, modern tastemakers have brought the Sub 300 Professional back to life, so this is also partly why we're focusing on the 300 over the 300T, which as we mentioned in our latest buyer's guide is technically the more adept diver with over 1000 meters of water resistance and a dedicated helium release valve. The 300 shapes up as the more appealing vintage inspired everyman's choice for a few main reasons we'll highlight in just a bit. We'll also explain why the far more technically adept 300T sits $600 below the 300's $2500 price tag. Starting with the case, the Sub 300 Professional employs a conical or barrel shaped 42.5mm full 316L marine grade stainless steel case with a lug to lug of 45mm and a thickness of 13.4mm. The finishing across the entire Sub 300 Professional, case aside, really goes to show the technical prowess Doxa maintains alongside their utility first MO. The topmost flat sections of the case utilize a vertical brushing, framing the timing bezel on both the right and the left flank, that extends all the way into the outer links of the bracelet, but uses a mirror-like high polish on the edges matching the bezel, the face of the logoed screw-down crown, and the five centermost beads of rice style links we'll get to in just a bit. The central case details are where the 300 first deviates from the 300T. In terms of the bezel, the Doxa patented timing bezel is at the top of its game, featuring dual indicators with time in minutes on the fixed inner ring in black and depth in meters on the unidirectional rotating outer ring orange for non-stop decompression timing. Unlike the 300, the 300T uses a slightly thicker bezel and markers in feet instead of meters, but the 300 is significantly less cluttered, only packing in 9 markers instead of the 300T's 11. If you're going to be picking up the 300 for any serious dives, we consider getting comfortable with the metric system if you're previously more aligned with the US Imperial system, or you can simply opt for the 300T in this case. Additionally, while the 300T uses a thinner flat sapphire for utmost legibility and little to no distortion, the 300 opts for a significantly thicker domed unit that provides some interesting refractions when observed off angle. This purely aesthetic consideration doesn't affect utility, however, as the 300 still maintains a competitive 300 meters of water resistance, but aesthetically it does plant it firmly in good vintage inspired company alongside the Christopher Ward C65 Aquitaine, the Laurier Neptune, or the Baltic Aquascape. Under this thick set sapphire, the dial really speaks for itself, but let's touch on a few things. Black, silver, and orange dial colorways were the original trio brought to market with the original Subdiver in the 60s. Since then, Doxa has added some other high-vis options to their lineup, like a brilliant yellow, a turquoise, and a clean white. If you're looking to stay faithful to the original, opt for one of the first three options like our orange dial. We also touched on this in our latest buyer's guide, but Doxa's bold use of color serves up bright legibility in dark situations, and uses an inverted color scheme, light background, dark indices, 
to improve readability without leaning so hard on loom like most other divers on the market. For example, the Rolex Sea Dweller uses a dark black background and white markers for contrast, and the Omega Seamaster uses a dark blue or black background with white markers for legibility. Many of Doxa's divers like the Sub 300 flip the script, with a bright, almost self-luminous background and dark markers, running in the opposite direction of other heritage divers. The Super Luminova, though, is present nonetheless in spades, inlaid within the trio of hands and sandwiched between each black hour marker and glows plenty bright. Moving on, here's where we can dive deeper into the pricing discrepancies between the Sub 300 Professional and the Sub 300T. The Doxa Sub 300 Professional uses the EDA 2824 2 self winding caliber as the engine powering the diver, but so does the Sub 300T. However, the price gap accounts for the 300 COSC certification. Doxa improving the timing performance of the 300's caliber over the 300T's enough to qualify. So, with the differing case details and the extra attention dedicated to ensuring the caliber's chronometer certification, the price tag starts to make more sense, and the reasons for picking up the near carbon copy 300 over the 300T start to become more clear as well. We have an entire editorial guide dedicated to the best vintage inspired dive watches where we make mention of specific styling cues as indicators of a categorically vintage reference. As a rule of thumb, it's safe to equate a beads of rice style bracelet with an older dress watch or a dive watch. The style was immensely popular in the now bygone era, with only a few notable brands like Doxa, Orado, or even Seiko keeping beads of rice style options available for purchase. In this case, the Sub 300 Professional uses a classy 7-link beads of rice style bracelet with two levels of finishing, straight vertical brushing as an extension of the case for the two outermost links, and five center channels of highly polished links staggered in a 3-2 pattern. The end link itself nestles right up to the case and sports the same styling and finishing as the bracelet itself, so it almost appears as though the bracelet disappears under the chunky timing bezel when viewed from above on the wrist. Rounding off its features, the bracelet uses a simple branded folding clasp and sports three micro-adjustment slots for fine-tuning the fit on the wrist, and also features screw and post links for major readjustments. So, like we mentioned, to truly love the Doxa, you have to engage with the watch aesthetically first and foremost, as it can be an acquired taste. But now that you're equipped with enough technical information about the Sub 300 Professional as well, you'll be in a much better position to solidify your purchasing decision. If we haven't said it already, it's safe to say that we're big fans of the Doxa Sub 300 Professional as a modern reissue of their archetypal diver. It's packed with utility, and has kept its retro looks without sacrificing the tool-centric spirit of the reference that made it popular in the first place. For $2,490, you'll be hard-pressed to find a detail-for-detail -detail reissue of a more iconic diver with COSC certification than the Doxa Sub 300 Professional.